favorites. Um, part of this is why I prep a lot of my stuff on the weekends and ahead of time when I do home canning. To me, that's prepping ahead for these quick and easy weeknight meals that we just don't have time for. And when you work late and you get home and you're hungry and you need to make a delicious meal, I don't settle for anything less than what we're used to. So what I've got for tonight is a quick and easy weeknight chipino. Now it's not my long version, but it's every bit as delicious on a weeknight. So I hope it inspires you to stay with me and see how easy this is to put together and how I prepped a lot of my stuff in advance. So it made it super simple and I hope that you enjoy it. All right guys, go check out all the links below and if you like Chipino, give me a thumbs up and let me know how you make it. Leave me a comment in the comments section. I am super excited that you stayed for this easy weeknight meal and it comes together really quickly. My husband just said he's on his way home. It usually takes him about a half an hour to come home. So I wanna put this together and let it simmer a little bit because we wanna cook off some things. But in this bowl, I have a, a simple, um, freezer type deal. I get a frozen ahi tuna steak. I also have a, it's like a combination chipino mix. It's got mussels and uh, octopus and calamari and shrimp and it's just, it's already done. And I've put this in the fridge in the morning to thaw out. And so even if it's not completely thawed when you get home from work, it's okay. No worries. I've got half of a uh, yellow onion. I have some garlic that I pre-prep all the time, um, and I put this in the refrigerator with just olive oil over top of it, and then I use it throughout the week. And as you can see, it's already half gone, and we're only, we're not quite, we're just past midweek. So um, I have a, let's see how many ounces this is. Doesn't say how many ounces. So I'm guessing this is um, 16, maybe 12, probably 12 ounces of uh, clam juice. And you could switch that out. I've got my home can, so here's another prepping deal. My home can tomato soup. And the reason this works for Chipino so well is because a lot of the spices are in here. The lemon is already in here. The lemon juice is in here and it is delicious. And then we've got a little over a cup of either Chardonnay that you like to drink or um, you could use a Sauvignon Blanc. Um, that would be good as well, but I wouldn't use a sweet wine like um, I, and then if you're if you don't want wine You can certainly replace it with chicken stock or water it, it, No worries there. And I will have some fresh parsley and basil going in this as well So let's get this started because it goes together really fast. I'm gonna put this so in my pan in I've got about a tablespoon of butter and that's unsalted butter I'm gonna add some of my garlic with the olive oil and actually first I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. Start them, it'll cool down the pan a little bit because I don't want my garlic to burn. And I want this over a medium high heat. Um, and I don't want my butter to burn, you know. So I make a chipino that takes, you know, most of the afternoon that is absolutely phenomenal. But this is just a great weeknight meal as well. So here's my garlic that I prep ahead and I'm using the couple good hefty, oh, we're gonna say three hefty, they're not quite tablespoons, but um, with the oil and the garlic. So we're gonna bring that up to temperature with the onions. And we're just gonna saute this until those onions become translucent. And then we're gonna add in our clam juice, our wine, and uh, let that start reducing and cooking the alcohol off the wine. And we're gonna add our tomato soup. And like I said, this tomato soup, I'll link the video in the comment section for you to go watch that. I home canned this tomato soup the other day and it's fantastic. You can take it out and turn it into other meals, not just tomato soup. And you can do it with cream or you can do it without. So. Um, because of the lemon background, it's perfect for a weeknight chipino. All right, so my onions and garlic, it smells heavenly already in here. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my clam juice. And like I said, this is about 12 ounces. And they put a pop top on it. It's kind of odd. I'm gonna put that in here. 
And that just gives you that beautiful seafood flavor because we're not going to have a whole lot of seafood in here. So um, just for a weeknight meal for the two of us, it works perfect. All right, so now I want to go ahead and add my tomato soup. And I want to show you, somebody asked me how I open my Tadler lids without damaging them. And Tadler actually sells this opener as a keychain. So it works fantastic. Let me see if I can do it on camera here. It just grabs the edge. Hold on. There you go. Good seal. Grabs the edge, and there you go. And it doesn't damage it at all. Like this would can gouge it. So you don't want to do that, or you you know you're throwing away your lids. So I'm going to add in my tomato soup, and if you like your chipino a little thicker, and I might add some tomato paste. We'll see what I do. I'm I'm not sure yet because I'm going to go ahead and add my chardonnay as well. And this is kind of a buttery Chardonnay. It's really good. Um, it's so delicious. We're gonna have this all alongside a crusty baguette that I've seasoned with garlic and butter and a little bit of Parmesan to soak up all this soup. So it's gonna be delicious. And I probably will add a little bit of tomato paste um, just to thicken it a little bit, but I'm gonna cook it down, so we'll, we'll wait and see. All right, guys, I'll be back as soon as this cooks down for about, I don't know. I mean, we've still got time before dinner, probably 30 minutes. You could do this as soon as it gets hot, add your seafood and put it on the table if you wanted. But I want to cook this down a little bit. So because of the alcohol and the wine, I want to reduce it and, and let that wine be in the background as part of the flavor. All right, guys. So I wanted to bring you back. I almost forgot. I actually add in Wild Trees Italian Seasoning Blend, and this is so good. It's called Hearty Spaghetti Blend. It, it is fantastic. So I'm putting about a mm, little less than a tablespoon of that in there to let it rehydrate, because all your dried herbs take some time to rehydrate and release all their flavors. So we want this really to taste like Italian. And I took a little taste on a tasting spoon and it definitely needs more tomato flavor. So I'm putting in a can, a six ounce can of tomato paste. And we're gonna fish that lid out. Thank goodness I always rinse my stuff. Um, and let that cook in there and just keep that tomato flavor. So, because diluting it with the wine and with the um, clam juice, it, it, it just, it would needed more tomato base. But this is still a pantry meal. You guys, you can do this any weeknight. And this is enough for three or four people easily. I mean, my husband will probably have a couple bowls of this. I'll have a bowl. And for those of you that are doing low carb and you love seafood, this is a great way to have it. You don't have to have the crusty bread, just have this bowl of delicious soup. So let's let this simmer and reduce a little bit, and then we'll get to, we'll just add our seafood and we're done. So it's our sauce has a little bit of a chance to reduce. I feel like it's reduced plenty. I really like how thick it is. Um, it's not as thin as it was. So if if I didn't add the tomato paste, you could certainly wait until it reduced down, but I'm not, I'm, I'm good to go. This is a weeknight meal, remember, so I really only wanted that to simmer for a little bit. Um, so we're going to add all our seafood in at once. It's going to take no time at all to heat this through and cook that. Oh, it's going to be delicious. We're going to have this alongside a salad and some crusty garlic baguettes, and I will bring you over for that little deal. Oh, before we're done, and before this is all cooked, some of this is already cooked, like the shrimp is cooked, the mussels are cooked, the octopus is steamed. Um, the only thing we're really waiting for is the ahi, and, or actually the shrimp and the ahi are the things that are not cooked. They are 50% there, so we're gonna add in our fresh parsley and our fresh basil to top this off and it will send it over the top. You don't want to add your herbs in too soon because they really lose 
their uh, freshness and brightness to this. And you can now shut your burner off and you're good to go. Finally, we get to eat. And it actually hasn't been that long. It's only been about a half an hour. And right here at the end, I want to tell you that it's okay to do this. You want to add, and I do it at the end only because I don't want it to get lost in the mix. The soup is hot, and I want to make sure that it is kind of prevalent in here. I'm adding um, six ounces of lump crab meat, and I bought this already picked. And you're just going to add that right on top. And then the other nice thing is your soup isn't so hot that you can't eat it because you're so anxious to eat it. So it just warms that crab meat through and you are Okay, done. so it's time for a taste test. I'm super excited. And I've got some crusty baguette here. This is my husband, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess with that. But I'm going to get, I see some calamari and some crab in here. Let's just get a quick bite for you guys and tell you the profile. Mmm, it smells delicious. Mmm. Mmm, it was so good. Mmm. Mmm, I love the background of the wine. It it reduces you know, all the alcohol out, but it leaves that um, buttery wine flavor in the background. The fresh herbs are right there in your forefront. The earthy tomatoes and the absolutely delicious seafood is fantastic. So, mmm. I may have to sneak another bite. You guys don't tell him. <laughs> There's plenty, right? Let's see. Ooh, here's shrimp and scallop. I think there's scallop in there. Let's see if I can get a piece of the, uh... ooh, yeah, mussel. Let's get a mussel. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, I truly hope you try this because it's fantastic and it's a great weeknight meal. So comforting, and it's an easy weekend meal if you want to do that. Do the short version instead of the long version. The only thing you got to do is prep some of these things and keep them in your pantry. All right, guys, I hope it inspires you to come back next time. If you're not a subscriber, I truly hope you hit subscribe so you get notified. Set your settings so you get notified whenever I upload. And come back next time because I have another delicious recipe coming up next. Don't miss it. All right, guys. God bless you.